Hi. Okay, we're going to start our first Algebra 2 unit today. This is our absolute value unit. And this video is just an introduction. We'll try to keep it short. So absolute value is basically is when we care about the number but not its direction. So absolute value oops, value so with this, we, we want the number, we want the value, but we don't care about its direction. So we want the value only, actually. This sounds a little weird. You're probably going, what in the world is this? Why do we care? And why are we looking at a map? Well, there's a reason we're looking at a map. Let's, let's look at this for a minute. Okay, we're at Summer Creek, or let's pretend we're at Summer Creek. So Summer Creek is right about here. So this is Summer Creek High School. And let's say you have a car, and let's say you know that your car will go a certain distance on a tank of gas. Sorry, that's my dog. Okay, so you know that your car will travel 350 miles on a tank of gas. 350 miles. So your car doesn't really matter. Like, it doesn't really care what direction you go. It only just cares how far you went. So this is a tank of gas. So if you wanted to, you could drive 350 miles in any direction. Let's draw a circle. Okay, so this is our radius, right? Or this is our circle with a certain radius. And our radius is 350 miles. And you could drive whichever direction you want to. And if you go further than that direction, further in, in any of the directions, further than this circle, you're going to run out of gas, and you're going to need to put more gas in your car. So I erased the part over the water because we don't have those kind of cars, or I don't have that kind of car. Anyway, so if you go to the east or you go to the right side of the graph, you're going to end up in Louisiana somewhere. If you go to the left of the graph or to the west, you're going to end up in Texas somewhere. But in both of these directions, you've driven 350 miles, and as soon as you drive that 350 miles, you're out of gas. So your car doesn't really, it doesn't care what direction you go, it only cares how far you went. Well, that's absolute value. Let's look at this in terms of just math. So a lot of times, like in other videos and other classes, you'll hear the absolute value is a distance from zero. So distance from zero. That's, that's easiest to see on a number line. So let's draw our friendly neighborhood number line. Here we go. Our nice friend, the number line. We'll center that on zero. If you go five spaces to the right, so one, two, three, four, five, you end up at a positive five. This positive five is five spaces away. If you go to the left five, one, two, three, four, five. You end up at a negative five because that's how our number line works. So this is a number, a negative five. But notice this is also five spaces away from zero. So it doesn't matter if you go left or right. Either way, they're both five spaces away from zero. Well, that's what your absolute value is. So absolute value, which is represented by these goal posts, is telling us how far from zero it is. It's just telling us just the number all by itself we don't care about the negative. Negative only just tells us direction anyway. It just tells us we're going to the left. So this is direction. So absolute value, what absolute value does is it just takes the negative away. It gives us just the number all by itself. So the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. On the right side of this, if we put positive 5 inside of an absolute value, it's still just asking for our distance. So absolute value of positive 5 is also 5. So if this is a positive number, the sign doesn't change. If this is a negative number, the sign changes. So it takes whatever's inside of the goalposts and makes it positive. Because we're stripping direction away and we're just wanting the number itself. So let's look at this just as a number. So if you have an absolute value of negative 2, that's just a positive 2. If you have an absolute value of negative 10, that's just a 10. So on the, number, on the number line with our negative 2, we went two spaces to the left. So the distance from 0 is 2. For the 10, 
We went 10 spaces to the left. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We still went 10 spaces. We only just went to the left. So we went that way. That's all your negative sign says, by the way. The negative sign only just says, we went left. Or if you're dealing with Y's, all it says is, we went down. That's all the negative does. It just tells us what direction to go. So our absolute value strips that off so that we only just have the number. So if you have a negative 359 inside of an absolute value, that's just going to be positive 359. What if you have then, let's say you had negative 3 plus 4, or absolute value of negative 3 plus 4. Well, the absolute value of negative 3 plus 4, this is just a positive 3, so then you get 3 plus 4, so that's just 7. So absolute value is pretty useful. We use it like in our car for the tank of gas. They also use it, let's say you decide to be a contractor. You're looking at jobs and you say, okay, well, contractors make a lot of money. Let's do that. Okay, so you're a contractor. They give you this floor plan. Let's say it's got this, this is a wall down the middle, and they want to know, this is a supporting wall, and the engineers are asking you, well, wait a second, how far away from the outer walls is this supporting wall? And you say, okay, well, this is 12 feet, and this is 12 feet. So we're dealing with, like, this is a tiny house. It's a little small house. So, okay, so we went 12 feet to the right or 12 feet to the left. We don't really care what direction we went. The distance is what import, what's important because what they're going to do is they're going to decide what kind of supports they need. If you have a floor, so like let's say this is an upstairs and you've got this beam and this support in your floor and you've got these people standing on it or you've got like heavy furniture or a big heavy bed or whatever, you need to know how long this beam is and the reason is is that Beams can only be a certain length, otherwise they'll sag or they just will break. So the strength of your beam is going to actually be in relation to how long it is. And you don't care what direction your beam is going, you just care about its length. So if it gets over a certain length, it's going to break and it's not going to work anymore. So we really care about, we care about the absolute value in this case. We don't care where the beam is, we don't care where it's going, we just want to know how long it is. So that's absolute value. So in this case, if it's 12 feet that way or 12 feet this way, it's just going to be 12. Ta-da! Okay, that's all we're going to do on this video because we're starting to get long and it's going to get boring. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!